Hi, I'm Sharmila Mehta with Keller Williams Realty. Welcome to Champagne with Sharmila, a video series where we discuss everything related to homes. In today's episode, I have an interesting team, a mother-daughter duo. They run a painting company. The reason why I decided to invite them uh, to this um, uh, video series uh, episode is because I worked with them when I needed some uh, quick painting job done and I was thoroughly impressed and the painting industry is male dominated and when I worked with them I was completely pleasantly surprised to see their level of professionalism um, they you know stayed within their budget and the whole experience was fabulous so I thought it would be a great idea to bring them on and have them come and talk about their you know share some tips and what the current trends are, etc. Because every few years, all of us need a paint job done, right? Whether we are selling our home or we just want a fresh look. So uh, having said that, now let me have Nicole and Monica talk about their business and how they got started. And then, you know, we'll just have a couple of quick uh, questions. Great. I'm Monica Sparks. And I'm Nicole Sparks. And we started Private Ryan Painting uh, because we had been working in the field um, for a little while and had realized that there was really a need for, for a feminine, woman-owned company. Um, we would work with guys and see their lack of attention to detail or, or sometimes just um, not a realization of maybe questions to a consideration to ask families, homeowners, things like that. Like, um, what do you want us to do with your dogs while you're not mm -hmm. here? Or are your kids coming home? Should we do the rooms for the kids before they get home? Things like that. Um, you know, just yeah, kind of a considering a, their timelines for sure. Yeah, like a, a and yeah. just kind of how a mom or a a woman would kind of t take on life. We take on painting like that, and so um, we felt like we should start a company that that would kind of fill that space and be mm -hmm. able to come in and and kind of be part of your family. Um, and, and connect with you in that way and, and, and take care of your home and your family in the way that you would. And I, I can definitely um, agree because when I worked with Monica and Nicole, I felt the same way. Monica knew what I wanted to do, what my, my concerns were, and it was all taken care of. So mm -hmm. yeah, the feminine touch was definitely uh, needed. Uh, for the benefit of my viewers, uh, you know, one of the reasons why I wanted to uh, invite you guys over is so that you can share, you know, what are the uh, current trends, you know, give us some tips. So even if my uh, viewers want to try and, you know, work with somebody that they know within their neighborhood or they could be, you know, I have viewers sitting in California and New York, give us some tips on how to hire um, uh, the right painter and also tell us about you know the current trends. Mm -hmm. Do you want to start talking about how, how to hire, what you would look for? I would say uh, the, what you need to really be careful with, a lot of people go in wanting it done cheapest. So they're just looking for the cheapest bid they can get. And there's a lot of contractors out there that it's a one man team and they, they can definitely get you in a lot cheaper. Uh, I think it's, probably wise though to pay attention to companies that have been in business a while that have strong references and I think the references you need to watch out for because if they have just five and they're all five star reviews that could just be family uh, so you need to make sure it's a, a strong uh, reference field and um, read those references and look for things like insurance we're an insured company that's very important too you're going into your home things happen you want to make sure that they can take care of it uh, watch out for the guy that asks for payment up front I we have more companies or clients come to us saying they've been ripped off by people that come in they give them the money and they never show again mm -hmm. but, well, but we, we we do so it's okay that sometimes folks will you will have to pay sometimes up front if you have a really big job and you need to buy a lot of materials up front or it's going to go on for a few weeks something like that you have to keep some kind of cash flow so that's okay to an extent but you don't want to be paying all everything up front um, you want to make sure that if it's a company that's asking for a big lump sum up front then you know they, they're very credible and they have a, a good like you said a mm -hmm. foundation and things like that 
just be careful because we have had many, many clients, yeah, that, that say that they literally paid half to full up front and then they never showed and it's just the money's just gone. Or they came in and they trashed out their home really bad right. and they needed somebody else to come back in and fix it and they didn't have insurance to cover it. Mm -hmm. So those are things you need to definitely look out for. Yeah. Nicole, can you tell us what the current trends are? For a little bit now, we've been doing a lot of gray and grayish. Grayish is gray and beige. Um, okay. And there's some kind of real popular 